Hey everybody, and welcome back to Planet Coaster Oakwood Amusement Park Part 3. Today, we are building our very first themed land, the Fisherman's Town, and our first roller coaster, the Fish Hook. So, today is a special episode because this is the first episode I used my new graphics card in. Uh, it's not in the full video, as you can see right now. Uh, the quality is uh, what it was uh, before, but the last uh, third of the video is all new graphics cards. So you'll see a massive boost in the graphics and uh, just the whole look of the game and the video. The uh, new graphics card, I think I've talked about it a little bit in the uh, video I made on it, which if you haven't seen, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it kind of explains what my new graphics card is and how it helps out my computer. But if you guys didn't know, I got a new graphics card, and it is a GTX 1063 gig, uh, which uh, now is in my computer as compared to what I had before, which uh, you're seeing right now, a, a GTX 745, which is not a very good card compared to what I'm what I have now. My computer, um, it's got a good processor. It's got an i7 processor. And also has uh, 16 gigs of RAM, so it, it is got the uh, fundamentals for being a very fast computer. But that graphics card was just uh, holding it back, I think, a little bit. So I got a new graphics card, and the game runs beautifully now. I can run the game on the highest settings, which is uh, Ultra, I believe, in Planet Coaster, uh, with recording software uh, on this park, like simple 60 FPS, no struggles nothing at all and I really I'm really happy about that because now I can start to make higher quality videos for you guys I can bring city skylines back and I can start to introduce new games to the channel just because I've never been able to do that with the limitations of my old card but now I am able to and uh, that's only gonna be better for you guys so yeah that's really what I want to talk about for the start of the video and now we're gonna really get into what we're going to be doing for today's episode, which is we're building the first town, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Uh, I think, I don't want to divide this park maybe not into so much sections, but maybe towns or areas. I mean, I'm not quite sure um, how I want to divide it quite yet, but I did know I wanted a fisherman's town in this park because I feel it definitely represents like the, you know, classic British... Um, weekend back from like the you know maybe nine early 1900s or something like that something simple like that i wanted because it's not that complex of a design a fisherman town you know you build a uh, a lake and a couple of houses around it put some shrubs everywhere and it looks good but i think it's definitely a necessity especially one of the first things that you walk into the park you see you know this gorgeous lake with this beautiful roller coaster which you'll get into and these waterfalls and this elegant town that's a little bit run down but you know it looks good because it's an old-fashioned town and you know it's meant to look that way so i thought that was definitely a necessity we needed to have in this park and i feel like i accomplished it in many ways uh this episode this area by no means is done and by no means uh will i leave it at what it is right now but um it has the groundwork laid it only has one roller coaster i need to add some rides into this park um other than that you know carousel at the front but that isn't that's not technically part of the fisherman's ground that maybe it was like a uh a sign for things to come not really okay that was really i was poor because that's the video the the name of my first video for this uh park but it's maybe like a divider for all the sections and lands of the park, which I think is something that's iconic and can be really good because as we know, like Carowinds, for example, that amusement park, they have like the, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina signs. And I think that's kind of what the uh, carousel could symbolize. So here I was just trying to build this little restaurant, which I had struggles with. So I just recorded it off camera. Um, but now I, since I have had it done, I was trying to figure out how to get the path work in. I felt, you know, I built it off episode, might as well put the path work in on episode, which is good. 
Um, but I know I said I wanted to keep this park a little bit on the down low compared to the bigger amusement parks, which um, I still do. But this uh, dive coaster that we're building today, it's not necessarily a very big roller coaster. Like, it is a big scale coaster for a smaller park. But in terms of big B&Ms and things like that, it's not that large of a ride. Um, it's only about 100 feet tall. It uh, doesn't even have a holding drop. It's got two inversions. It sort of has a splashdown element. But uh, I I had a lot of fun with this ride. Um, I did not want to use a holding drop because I didn't feel that was necessary. I wanted to have something a little bit more unique. So instead, it goes into a curved pre-drop and and then goes straight up and down into that vertical drop. Or I believe it's, it's very close to vertical. Um, but... Then it goes into an overbank, uh, a zero G roll, which was custom built by me. And uh, then it goes into a brake run, a uh, corkscrew, and splash down, and then back into the station. But uh, that's basically where I wanted to leave it there for uh, you guys. Uh, you guys can enjoy the rest of the time lapse with some music behind it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.